you really have to put your audience first. And that is tip number one. What is up my friends, my family, and everyone involved? Hopefully you guys are doing swell. I'm Royce Ford. Uh, you clicked on the thumbnail because you're looking for those three tricks to get to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I started out with something like 100 subscribers. And I'm gonna give you a few tips that I did, a couple of tricks that I did in order to grow my audience. But don't just take it from me, you wanna take it from my good friend, Alex Hefner. Alex Hefner! Yeah. Oh, oh, where am I? Now we collaborated early on in my channel when I had, oh, maybe 200 subscribers. <laughs> Your boy Alex has been putting me on blast for how many months now? Over six months. For what? <laughs> Post every day on YouTube. Yeah. And he'd be like, Roy, get that consistency, baby. I Ain't nobody trying that. to do once a week. <laughs> and he's such a cool down to earth guy. He also runs his own YouTube channel, uh, Alex Hefner. And make sure you go to his channel, which is gonna be over there. Click it! <laughs> he literally yelled that in my ear. Sorry. <laughs> We've done multiple collaborations. Yeah, I mean, you know what, uh, Alex, dude, uh, kind of, you know, let them know what's going on. What's going on, Roy? So yeah, I do have a little bit of advice for anybody out there that wants to make or maximize a YouTube channel, your personal brand, whatever you want to do. Um, I could go on and on and on, but the one piece of advice that I could give you that I know for a fact works is putting your audience first by essentially just creating content that you would want to watch. If you're making content that you would spend your valuable time watching, then I promise you thousands and thousands of other people will want to watch that too. Keep that in mind and just try to entertain yourself. And it's like seriously the key to doing well on YouTube. Thanks, bro. Yeah, it's, you know, Alex said it right. It, it's one of those things where you really have to put your audience first. And that is tip number one, putting your audience first. And the best way to do that is to do the research. You really have to go and do like I do is one, find out what people are interested in and where that overlaps in your interests. For example, at the time when I was starting my journey to get to a thousand subscribers, I said probably the best way to do it is with hot topics. And at the time, music video reactions were king, <laughs> okay? Uh, and so Alex challenged me. He said, bro, why don't you do a couple of uh, music reactions? It'd be great. You have experience working in radio and you could kind of use that as a way to build an audience. And that's what I did. I really went and found out um, all the type of different YouTube reaction channels, the ones that I liked. And I began to say, okay, what's working for them? What is the key audience looking for in that group? Well, they're looking for entertainment through music. So I just put the audience first and that's how I grew my channel to over a thousand subscribers. Secondly, the thing that I did was really posting consistently. Now there's a little bit of confusion on how to do that. Is it frequency, consistency? I like to say it's both. If you're consistent and your audience knows that you're gonna be there week after week, they're, they're really gonna like you. Now, frequency is a little bit more different. That's finding out how often you post in a given time period. Uh, for me, that the thing that worked really well with doing reaction videos was I had tons of content to pull from. So every week I knew I was gonna get four, maybe five videos a week. That's crazy, that's almost a video every day, yeah. Well, the key for getting to a thousand subscribers is them knowing that you're there. I think the biggest tip I'm gonna give you here, and this is something I've been researching a lot, is YouTube doesn't really start triggering the algorithm until you're at least 35 videos, maybe more, into your specific topic or niche. I'll say it again, somewhere in the ballpark of 35 to 50 videos is kind of what you want to amass to in order for YouTube to kind of start saying, oh, okay, he's making this consistent topic He's making this consistent niche. And for me, I had to frequently post at least somewhere in the ballpark of two, three times a week in the beginning. Um, and with music video reactions, it made it really, really simple because you would have music releases in the ballpark of four, maybe five songs a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and throughout the week. For me, it became really easy to be that consistent and that frequent so that I could easily get up to 35 videos in that specific niche. And it may be a little bit different in whatever niche you're in, you probably can't crank out that many videos a week, make it two, okay, <laughs> or more, but you have to find out what works for you. And then obviously, go back to number one, finding out what is the audience, getting in touch with the audience. And number three, 
This one is very, very important, okay? Especially for me, always engage with your audience. Okay, so the trick here is no matter where they are, whether whatever platform they're on, even if they're on Instagram or Facebook, make sure you're engaging with your audience. You know, you're running a YouTube channel and you're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So you're like, okay, how do I build this up? Will you really love on the audience that you currently have. And that is gonna show up in your comments. But Roy, I'm not getting any comments. Then what you need to do is make sure that whatever your niche is, whatever your topic, overall topic is, you're sharing your video with Facebook groups that are in that topic and replying to them. Or <laughs> you get down and dirty, you do this. This is what I encourage you to do. Go into the comment section of your YouTube competition. Find out what other people are in your niche, what they're creating, and go into that comment section and find out and start building a community in the comment section and finding out what other people are wanting to see. <laughs> That's the trick that I use. I was like, okay, they want a reaction to this. Okay, they want a music video for this. Oh, they want a YouTube video for this. It's really, really simple. You go ahead and do that kind of research in order to engage with your audience. And whether you're dropping comments, sharing comments in your post sections in the community tab, or whatever you're gonna do, uh, I really encourage you to do that. With the overall goal to be building your view count. Obviously, in order to build your view count, you have to make sure that people know that you are creating content and that your topic is something that people are interested in. So there's kind of a two-fold process there. By far, you wanna engage with your audience in order to grow those views. And the more content you're putting out, the more likely you're gonna get views and those views will turn into subscribers. Remember, put the audience first. Consistency wins, that's right. Get your consistency level up, making sure you're consistently posting and you're frequently posting, whether that's twice a week or more, okay? And for the most part, make sure you engage with your audience. Those are three tricks that I used in order to grow my channel. Uh, obviously, collaborations with Alex, that was really key. I'll get into collaborations and other stuff actually in the next video and really kind of get into, you know, how to really, you know, connect with other people here on YouTube as well as in other places. Down in the comment section, make sure you put what your interests are, whether you're trying to get to a thousand subscribers, you're trying to get to a 10,000 subscribers and how you're gonna do that in your specific topic, whatever your topic is. What's your goal? and what's your topic, your niche. I need to know that. Drop it down in the comments. Obviously, I answer tons of questions. If you have any, drop them down in the comments below. And I will talk to you next time.